Oh, ooh, this camera do look kind of good. Hey, this is a different camera. I don't know, it ain't mine though. But um, <laughs> what is going on guys? Back with another video. Today we got a new install on the Camaro. The very first install, I mean, it's nothing special. It's just some interior lights that I want to get done. The dome light and some uh, footwell lights. <laughs> It'll make it easier for when I try to do the POV driving at nighttime because I try to record a few videos of oops, I try to record a few videos of the, uh, videos of POV driving at nighttime, and ooh, I'm dark. the GoPro didn't catch and didn't pick up on it because you know GoPros are not good at low light. So we're installing some uh, footwell lights and a blue dome light for the car. Dome light is just some cool that I wanted to put in there. It's really unnecessary, but I just wanted to do it. It was cheap. Wanted to do it. And I got another install on the way, and then I got a few more things that's coming. So the videos will be coming very shortly. So I'm gonna get started on this. Oh yeah, I never had to show you guys. These are the I'm, these are the wheels changing out. Changing these wheels out, they are hideous. They are hideous. I forgot. This is like the first video I've actually like probably made talking about the car instead of the just a reveal video. It's pretty dirty. Just came back home uh, from another state from college. Came back home. It's pretty dirty. So, got I don't think I'm gonna clean it up because it's supposed to rain the entire week I'm back. So, got the R6 over there, started up. I haven't started that thing in maybe a few months. So that thing is just sitting there, flat tire. It's probably gonna get sold pretty soon because I'm not riding motorcycles anymore for various reasons why I'm not gonna get into it in this video. Wow, that door shut pretty hard. Um, gonna be changing the exhaust pretty soon. I don't know what kind of exhaust I'm going to do because if you try to put an exhaust on a V6 Camaro, it does not sound good at all. So, uh, the lights that we're going to be installing are right here. The Goovy, go, go, I don't know, they're, I got them off Amazon, they were really cheap, they just plug them to the serial lighter because the ones I have on my Mustang, they were connected to, uh, the ones I had on my Mustang, they were connected to my ignition switch and they work pretty well, no issues with them at all, I loved them. But I don't want to get into the wiring with this car because one, I haven't did wiring in like maybe a year or two. And so I'm, I don't want to mess anything up. Cause I, I used to be into wiring like really heavy back when I had my gaming channel going and stuff like that, wiring stuff up, doing all stuff like that. I have a few things hooked up on that motorcycle that I wired together myself. But um, yeah, I just don't want to wire anything up to this car just just yet. I mean, maybe soon I'm going to have to and do like a few things, but as of right now, I don't want to do anything like that because I don't have the proper uh, tools and everything that I need. Uh, the next thing we have is this blue dome light. Uh, it's, well, I don't know what happened to the label, but yeah, it's just a blue dome light that goes up here. When it turns on, this light is going to be blue. So let's get into the install. And we got this black guy over here. Oh, this, this baby. So for some reason the engine lights on and I'm not sure just because I had the bike sitting for so long um, He just you just messed up my seat, bro. I have my seat perfect Yeah, my seat perfect, but I don't know why the engine light is on on that bike. I haven't driven it in so long, so He doesn't know how to drive a manual. He's probably about to run my bike over He doesn't know how to drive manual Okay, so I had to switch cameras that the, the really nice one died on me So I have to go back to this one sadly this is the GoPro. I'm gonna, I'm actually probably gonna buy one of those. That's really nice. That was my sister's camera. She was letting me, you know, try it out, see how it is for my videos. I'm trying to move around so I have good lighting because for some reason, like, I just don't get good light. I'm too dang dark. All right, but um, we're gonna install the. Where did they go? <laughs> my brother just got done driving my car. That video is probably gonna go out before this one. Where did my lights go? I didn't have the lights with me. He already opened the box and, and dropped stuff out of it. But I, I just got these cheap lights off of Amazon. They were like 19 bucks. It's something that I want to do so I can do. Ugh. It's something that I want to have in my car so I can do POV driving and stuff like that. So, or at nighttime at least, because during the day it shows pretty well. So we're going to start installing the stuff and I'm, just, you know, choose the water, live pure, live positive, live healthy. Live pure, live positive, live healthy. <laughs> Live here, live peer, live positive, live healthy, and peer. We're gonna get yeah. Live peer, pure, peer, pure. It's the same thing. I've been seeing this in all my videos. Listen, peer. stay tuned. Peer. This is gonna be some good content for y'all. All right, peer. 
<laughs> All right, guys, we're about to get into the install. Uh, so let me unbox. He's playing one of his own videos. This is for the car as well. This is for the car. That's the dome lights that's going in. Uh, sorry for my voice. My allergies acting crazy. So these are the oh. So these are the lights right here. They look a lot better than I thought they would. But yeah, these look a whole lot better than I thought they would. If you want to shut your fucking thing off. So this is all the stuff that we need. I don't know why there's screws here. I'm not screwing anything into my car. I guess it it gave you. Oh yeah, it gives you three options. You can screw it in, zip tie it, or um, what's it called? Three M adhesive. And now I'm probably most likely gonna use the zip ties for the uh, wires, just to keep the wires out the way. So let's get into this install real quick. I may have to use the zip ties on this part right here because there's no way to mount them. Because I think this is the yeah, this is the glove box. So there's no way to really mount them on anything back here. Let me see. Yeah, there's no flat surface to mount them anywhere on here. So I'm gonna have to. Yeah, there's a zip tie part right here that I can just zip tie to. So yeah. We're gonna zip tie this one and then have the other one ad adhere down because there is a flat spot over there on that side. So, all right, so we got the GoPro strapped on the head and we're about to get into this install real quick. Let's un let's undo this jiggly jiggly ju jiggly ju yeah jiggly ju how are you yeah all right I'm sniffling allergies are going crazy you change might. of seasons I'm no, I don't have the corona I'm getting out this this car. Watch your language. This is a family friendly. This is gonna be funny watching you do this all by yourself. You might have to figure out help me how to route these since I have four. I have four too. And it I, look like I have a back seat. No, mine are under my uh they slide up on my uh seat. Do it look like I have a back seat though for them to go into? I'ma say it again. Mine are oh, under you, you have my them on seat. the front seat, okay. They're literally under the seat. They're not under the back part, they're under the seat because it wouldn't go that far back. And not only would it go that far back, by the time I routed that, and I want to like flip open and <laughs> flip this out, remember, my thing lift up. Oh yeah. What if you catch like a zombie running up on us on your camera? Okay, so yeah. this side can go over here, and then this side can go over here. The long side should be in the front. Okay. Right in the back. The long side should be in the back. There what? You should have two long ones, two short ones. They're all connected in the series. That's not like this. Like each of mine. Oh, they're they're separate. They're like yeah, they're like four of them. Okay, yeah, separate. I see. Okay, yours is okay. Yeah, we're going to figure out how to do this. One. I mean, it's it's really the same uh thing. Right here, so um, we're going to put these. Why, okay. why are you messing with the mango? It wasn't in gear. Okay, yeah, let's see. This is why you don't have to drive a stick. This is my car. Here's my car. All right, so anyway, yeah, focus. turn the camera off real quick so I can focus and do this real quick, and then I'm going to catch up with you guys in a second. Okay, so we have one installed right here. My brother installed that one on that side, and he's currently doing the uh, second one. Yeah, he's pretty ugly. I'm not going to lie. But um, where I am trying to figure out what to do with these wires real quick. I think I'm just gonna put them in here and then run them all the way down because this is free to open, like free opening. So it's not like hard to pull off and I won't break anything. That's my main thing. Like I don't want to see wires. I want it to look clean, professional because I'm pretty professional in everything I do. That's all I'm just saying. But he's doing most of the work right now, surprisingly, because I'm usually the one that's always working on work on the vehicle. So I do cosmetic stuff. You do electrical. Yeah, stuff. He, he does more the cosmetic stuff because he's more tedious and about stuff. So we're gonna finish this up, and I'm gonna talk to you guys in a second. Yeah, and we did test the lights; they do work. So, yeah. All right, guys, we're back. The GoPro died, so I wasn't able to record that much stuff. But we have. The, I think I already showed this one. We have this one plugged in. Not plugged in, but we have that one hooked up. We have this one right here under the seat hooked up. I have it facing forward because, you know, I have a coupe. So it's not really going to, there's no reason for it to shine toward, toward the back. So I have this one pointed forward and I have him pointing that one another way. And I'm going to decide which one I like more. And then whatever, whichever one I like, I just rotate it since it's zip ties. All right. So we got the lights installed. One of two because we got to do the dome light still. Uh, so we have the blue ones right now and then we turn on the whites. Let me just, boom, the whites are so bright. Like you can see the ones under the seat, they are really bright. They're a lot brighter than the ones that were in my Mustang for sure, like for sure. Um, and I think they reflect a little bit better too because like I had a different interior on my Mustang and the, this one is black. So I'm pretty sure it's reflecting a little bit better. 
I don't know. I kind of like it though. On camera, it looks purple. That's kind of weird, but it's white. It's white, I promise. Then we got green, blue, and red. I really like the red, not gonna lie. The red looks pretty nice, but I'm probably gonna stick with like a, a ice blue or whatever. What's going on with Juice Trial, people? I know you guys. Probably stick with that blue, maybe because it fits the uh, car um, lights as well. So yeah, we're gonna install this light right here real quick, and then we're gonna get right back to it. All right, so we just got this light installed right here. It literally took less than 30 seconds to do. I popped this off. Put the took the old light out or he took the old light out and i just put this one in it is a blue light like i said matches this um it's, this is not going to be on all the time obviously but when this light is not on this light is going to be a different color so that's how i'm going to do it it looks amazing i love it so we're going to move on to the next project we're going to catch you guys in the next video thank you guys for tuning in to this first install on the camaro there's a lot more coming around be patient i gotta get around to it because i'm still in school all right Still in school, so I got a lot of other things to do before I work on the car. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Peace out.